unwise judge. There once were a pair of neighbors. Despite their shared poverty, they remained friends. I have to take my barley to the market today, one of them said to the other one day. The market is far away, and the sack is heavy. I long to own a donkey. However, I lack the funds to purchase one. His neighbor gave him a nod, and I must buy some new pots in the market today, he replied. They'll weigh a ton. When I get home, I will be exhausted. Like you, I wish I had a donkey. However, a donkey is not cheap. I just have half of that amount. The initial man had a thought. He said, listen, my friend. Combined, let's purchase a donkey. I'll pay half of it, and you can pay the other half. I'll take the donkey to the market one week, and you can take it the following. This idea made his friend very happy. Thus, the two neighbors purchased a donkey that day. They were both content for a very long time. They were good with the donkey. The first neighbor brought the donkey to the market one week. Next week, it was taken by his friend. However, the first neighbor's father passed away one day. All of his father's possessions, including his trees and fields, cows, and sheep were taken by the man. The first neighbor had become wealthy. He had no desire to see his old friend again. He was unwilling to assist and collaborate with him. He also desired his share of the donkey. Listen, he addressed his neighbor. My canines are ravenous. They must eat meat. I'd like to murder our donkey. Half of it is yours to have, and the other half is mine. The poor man exclaimed, What? But meat is not necessary for me. The donkey is necessary for me. Pay me for my half if you wish to kill it. His neighbor took offense. I won't be giving you any money, he declared. Half of the donkey is mine and I want to have it. The impoverished man said, Let's go see the judge. He can decide between us. Consequently, the two neighbors visited the judge. The magistrate lacked wisdom. He didn't pay close attention. He made no attempt to comprehend. He inquired, Do you both own the donkey? Yes, each of the men said. Then half of it belongs to one of you, and half of it belongs to the other, said the magistrate. The rich guy can accept his share if that's what he wants. Cut the donkey in half after killing it. I won't be giving you any money, he declared. Half of the donkey is mine and I want to have it. The impoverished man said, Let's go see the judge. He can decide between us. Consequently, the two neighbors visited the judge. The magistrate lacked wisdom. He didn't pay close attention. He made no attempt to comprehend. He inquired, Do you both own the donkey? Yes, each of the men said. Then half of it belongs to one of you, and half of it belongs to the other, said the magistrate. The rich guy can accept his share if that's what he wants. Cut the donkey in half after killing it. But your hut is right next to mine, the destitute man stated. If you burn your hut, you will burn mine, too. The wealthy man was upset. 
he exclaimed, Don't try to stop me. This is my hut, and I will burn it if I want to. The man cried out, Stop. Let's go and ask the judge. The foolish judge did not pay close attention. He made no attempt to comprehend. He said, Let the rich guy burn his hut. It's his personal hut. He cannot be stopped by anyone. The wealthy man set fire to his hut. The fire spread to the poor man's hut's roof due to the wind. It soon began to burn as well. The poor man cried out to the judge, Look! My neighbor set my hut on fire. I have to get paid by him. No, the judge responded. Your neighbor set fire to his own cabin. Your hut was burnt by the fire. You can keep your neighbor's money. The poor man was miserable now. He lacked a hut and a donkey. His field was all he had. He worked in his field every day. He slept under a tree every night. Now it was almost harvest time. There was a good crop of chickpeas in the poor man's field. Hard labor was the poor man's trade. He removed the weeds. The birds fled from him in fear. The rich man's sons paid him a visit one day. The impoverished man's field was passed by. They exclaimed, Chickpeas! Look, they are delicious! They sprinted into the field, where they started to gather and consume the chickpeas. They consumed copious amounts of food. Before long, every last chickpea was gone. From a distance, the poor man noticed them. He dashed into his field. He asked, What are you doing? All of my chickpeas are gone. Return them to me. They said, We are unable to return them to you. We consumed them. Consult our father. You can sell your chickpeas to him for money. The impoverished man visited the wealthy man. Your sons ate all my chickpeas, he stated. Give them back to me. I can't give them back to you, the wealthy individual replied, but I'll give you some money to pay for them. The impoverished man replied, I don't want your money. I want my chickpeas, and I'm going to take them. Hold on. The rich man exclaimed, Stop. Let's go and ask the judge. Thus, the two men visited the judge. The judge paid them little attention. He did not consider their situation. You must return the chickpeas that the rich man's son stole from you, he told the impoverished man. Slice them open, then remove the chickpeas. The wealthy man was terrified. He exclaimed, But my sons will die. Please, neighbor, let me give you money. The impoverished man said, When you killed our donkey, I wanted money. Right now, I don't want it. I'm craving my chickpeas. He went to get his knife. The rich man exclaimed, I'll build you a new hut. I'm sorry, I burned your old one. The poor man said, I want no new hut. I want my chickpeas. He started using a stone to sharpen his knife. Nah. 
Not at all. Please wait, the wealthy man exclaimed. Let's visit the seniors. My old friend, please let the elders make the decision. Consequently, the two neighbors visited the elders. The elders conversed incessantly. They finally beckoned the two men over to them. They told the wealthy man, you were mistaken. It is your neighbor who you refused to give your donkey to. His hut was set on fire, and your kids consumed his produce. They then looked at the unfortunate man. But you want to kill your neighbor's sons, they replied. That is also incorrect. This is the choice we made. The impoverished man is entitled to half of the rich man's possessions, including his fields, trees, cows, and sheep. After that, you can coexist peacefully. Therefore, half of the rich man's belongings were given to the poor man. They never again got into arguments while living together contentedly.